concern for your opponent? Uh, man, my only concern is when the when well, I always have concern for my for for all fighters. You know, um, I'm a big advocate for fighters because, like I always say, we get done wrong. This is not a sport. A sport is something you play. You don't play this. And we risk our lives for you guys' entertainment. And I speak that forever, you know. And but when you have a relationship with a with a with a with a man, you know, when you love a man, you know, when you build a friendship with a, another man, although he's thousands of miles away from where I am, you know, when when you see things like that, man, you you, you want to come to the aid. You know, I wanted to come to the aid, but they wouldn't let me. And I understood because he needed he needed space. Um, but you know, my heart goes out to him, and I hope he's doing okay. He could be able to go back to his family because this is a tough business that we're in. That's why I tell people you gotta respect all fighters. You know, people always go about worrying about records and and all this. He lost all. He's a bum and all that. Well, you get your bum ass in there then. <laughs> and let's see who's the bomb, really. Because you don't play this. You can't play this. So we, we demand respect at all times. Every fighter that step in the ring, I don't care what the record is. I don't care who they are or where they come from. It demands respect because if not, then you see things like that happen. And then all we were, oh, that's a good knockout. Yeah, it's a great knockout. It's devastating. Making history and stuff like that, but... How much that man gonna suffer? He may be all right right now, mm. a little bit, but what about the next day? What about two weeks from now? What about a month from now? Maybe years from now? And we seeing what happened. Look at look at look at Cologne. Talking look how about he Richard got Cologne. Hit. Richard Cologne. That's Richard Cologne. Yep. Correct. This man ain't have no kids. <laughs> Man, they don't understand, man. Y'all don't fucking understand what we go through, man. And I don't even know him like that. But I always be an advocate for us because ah, Take your time. Take your time, man. this man would never know what it feel like to be somebody's father. And that's some of the precious thing in the world to be somebody's father. But he'll never be nobody's father, man. This man will never have a natural childhood ability of, 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 of living again because he got in the ring to support his family. But now, his family got to take care of him for the rest of his life. He, might, he probably would have been, he probably would have the bread when they left his family. And now they looking, seeking for help and shit like that. I can say so much about it. That's why you can't play this. This is serious. We don't know is Robert gonna be the same after this. Mm -hmm. I just did a job. I'm great at what I do. I don't. I don't. I don't mean to take people away from their lifestyle of living. I'm just trying to support my family as well. This is what we signed up to do. And unfortunately, there's a winner and there's a loser. And sometimes it's a draw. But who? Who? Who take up on that responsibility when they can't work no more? He, Robert could be the, the breadwinner of his family. Mm -hmm. But what if he can't do it no more? Then what? Who pays the bill? Mm -hmm. Who pays the mortgage? He got kids. Who who, who, who who look out for his kids? Because we all know when you lose and when it ain't going right, those same people that when you win, they kiss you and say they love you. They ain't there for you no more. What they at? You understand me? More questions back there? Well, that was the best answer I've heard of any fighter at any press conference.